Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Chatter, brought to you by our friends over at HP. Hey, with Tim Stenovic, I'm Baker Machado, and former model and TV personality Yolanda Hadid. She's out with a new TV competition series. It's on Lifetime, and it's called Making a Model. It follows six aspiring models and their mothers, putting them through an entire eight-week training program set right here in beautiful New York City. And we're joined by one of the show's hosts and executive producer herself, Mr. Yolanda Hadid. Thank Hi. you so much for you being here. I'm so excited for you to be here. We had to kick Brad Smith, our other co-host out of here because I, <laughs> I could not let him interview you without you uh, without me being here so um, we've moved on from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and now we're on this amazing lifetime show you moved from Beverly Hills to New York City yes so what's in store for this series I mean life is just all of a sudden I had yes. such a bad seven-year run right that is all of a sudden like all this magic is happening in my life I mean the new show moving to New York I'm loving being in the and East Coast and you have a farm and... in Pennsylvania too right well it's somewhere <laughs> yes <laughs> yes if, we have a farm so where we ride horses and we grow our own vegetables and get the eggs from the chickens and goats and all that great stuff so yes and how has your health been my health is you know I th I've been in remission for about seven eight months and you know I feel great I pinch myself every morning going like wow it's just another great day I'm alive I'm I'm motivated to work I mean New York really adds to you know you walk on the street and everybody is in a hostel here so right. that really motivates me to continue to work and and you know be just be me. <laughs> What's in store for this series? It's different than other series you've been part of. This one, there's no competition here in the sense of elimination. Yeah. There's certainly a big competitive element, but why choose this idea of, of having no elimination? Well, because I, you know, it's, I, I didn't want it to be about judgment every day and every week. And everybody is beautiful and should shine right. in their own right. And I feel like these kids are still so young that I didn't want Right, some as young as 13. Yeah, I mean, I don't want you know, a 13-year-old, you know, I don't want to criticize anybody. I want it to be more like a positive reinforcement where these girls leave after two months and say, wow, I really learned something and I will remember Yolanda for the rest of my life because she taught me that. And I didn't want them to walk away going, I'm a loser. Right. You know, we today in the world with social media, everybody is, you know, trying to compare themselves to what they think is the perfect selfie or the perfect person. And life is just not perfect. Right. There's a know? lot. What, what's great about this show is it also shows the bond between the mothers and the daughters that are doing yeah. this. We know both of your daughters are huge runway stars with Gigi and Bella. Um, what's the, what, what are you trying to get at with, with the moms and their daughters in this show? Are you kind of hoping to kind of get something similar to well, what you kind of have? Well, you know, I feel, yes. I mean, and I also feel that, you know, looking around in that gen generation, uh, in today's world, it's really hard to really connect on an intimate level with our children because they're, everybody's on their cell phones, right. including us, right. by the way, you know, we do the same thing, but like life seems to be so outside of ourselves. And I really wanted to bring back that old fashioned connection between the mother and daughter. They live in a, in a model house for two months, sleep in a bunk bed. Imagine you sleeping with your mom for two months right. in a bunk bed. Right. Right. So you have to talk, you're right. forced you have to no talk. Choice. Yes. You're forced to communicate, play cards, cook together, you know, you know, in the daytime they work all day, go through this competition. And, uh, and I saw really great result, uh, results of bringing, you know, the family back together and they left like great friends and, and learning a whole new way of communicating. And speaking of mothers and daughters, Gigi and Bella, your daughters, both make an appearance in this series. What yes. can you tell us without giving too much away about how they play a role in the show? You know, I wanted Gigi and Bella to come on and just be themselves the way I know them, you know? It's, it's when you're given that kind of a platform and people see you on the covers of, of magazines, they think you have this perfect life and that you don't suffer from anything. And I wanted them to just come on and share from the heart, not from the person that everybody knows in the public. And it was great to see because when Bella said to one of the girls that had you know anxiety and all of those kind of things, she was like, I suffer from that too. You might not see that from the outside. So it was really important for these children to see that even supermodels go through normal everyday problems and we're all human we're all equal we're all the same at the end of the day uh yolanda we have less than a, a minute left with you but you were talking about selfies and social media and stuff like that do you feel like now social media has heightened and, and played a bigger role in you know everyday lives of models now in Absolutely. terms of helping them or hurting them or all that stuff well it's both right you, you have global access to every client in the world like i had to go for three months to every major city and do go and sees 12 a day five six days a week before i could make contacts and relationships now you post you can reach people everywhere 
the, the flip side of that is that you're under the microscope 24-7, you're judged on a pimple, a little scratch, when you gain one pound, three pounds, or ten pounds, it's all based on judgment, and so it's also a negative. Do you feel like social media helps build that business, though? I think it speeds up the process a lot faster than it used to in when I started modeling, so yeah. Could you imagine what social media would have been like if you had this when you were starting to model? No, I mean, no, I cannot imagine. I mean, I used to come to New York, no phone, no money, mm -hmm. with a paper map, going with my little portfolio in the streets of New York, up right. and down the island, so, you, you know, Things are very different today. So. Well, we know tomorrow is your birthday, so we want to yeah. wish you a happy early birthday. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to have Yolanda Hadid making a model. It's premiering tomorrow, January the 11th, on Lifetime at 10 p.m. Eastern. Thank you so much. Thank Yolanda. you, guys. Thank you for having me.